Hey there, Caitlin Johnson here, SnapEd Nutrition Educator in Waldo County, Maine. We've got another recipe for you from Eating Better on a Budget. Today we're doing pasta salad. So before we jump into this, I have a little bit of a story for you. So about the pasta. So this recipe calls for whole wheat pasta and I totally started cooking some and burnt it. And not like just scrape the good stuff off the top like I'm so lucky that I didn't have to call the fire department <laughs> burnt it. Uh, lost the pan so sorry what you're seeing is not whole wheat pasta. Forgive me. All right, here we go, into the ingredients. So the first thing is whole wheat pasta, right? But you wanna cook it and let it cool before we mix stuff into it, especially the cheese, because that'll get all melty and weird. And then the recipe, which you can find in the link below, calls for specific veggies, but you can add whatever veggies, proteins, and cheeses you want. So I cooked the pasta, recooked the pasta, and added some peas and just blanched them, fresh peas, and then I set that off in the fridge to cool for a little while while I started chopping my stuff. So I had a little bit of salami left over in the fridge that was close to its date. I had some low-fat mozzarella, some, that's a uh, low-fat sharp cheddar, just deli slices, and then that's some honey ham. Basically just my deli drawer, what I was trying to get rid of. I had a cucumber left and a tomato that I borrowed from another recipe that might be short later, but that's tomorrow Caitlin's problem. <laughs> and then I also had this beautiful yellow pepper. I thought that it would look really pretty and vibrant next to the whole wheat pasta. Uh, still looks great next to the white pasta I ended up having to use, but yeah, that pasta still stings a little. <laughs> Alright, so there's all my stuff chopped and prepped, and then I just made a homemade Italian dressing. It was some vegetable oil with um, apple cider vinegar and Mrs. Dash salt-free Italian blend. It's super easy. I just try to eyeball it um, to make sure that there's twice as much oil as um, vinegar. But if you want me to do a video on salad dressing, comment below and let me know what your favorites are. So I actually stirred the dressing into the pasta and the peas first, just so that the pasta could absorb the flavor and stuff. And then I added in all of my chopped veggies, gave that a little stir, then added in my proteins and cheeses. This would be a great recipe for like the leftover turkey from that dinner you tried, or the last bit of rotisserie chicken. Um, that salad that you bought but the greens went bad or something, all of those other veggies would go great in a pasta salad. That's pretty much what happened to me. <laughs> so there you go, our little curly Q pasta salad. Not too bad looking, huh? Well, thank you so much for watching, and as always, post your creations to social media with the hashtag MainSnapEd, and head to MainSnapEd.org for more. Thanks again. Bye-bye.